Now we finish render and I will consider it above draft render. It's good, but it's not as final render. So let's jump to Nuke and in Nuke here, let's bring the file by going tab and read. And we can just bring the file here by going to um, I and transfer. Let's go here and this is the main one. Let's open it. I render from three. So this is it and you can just connect it to the viewer and see. So this is the render. I can just run it. Now it, until we have the RAM and everything is loaded, we just wait a little. Of course, we don't need to see all the sequence, but I made one forty-three frames. So you see now everything is nice. I have control over the details. We go and see the details, but look at it. Everything is stable. If you look at the water as example, it's stable. We have all the details. These small chunks are the, the ice and because it's uh, the density of the liquid as we did in the TY flow is two. And anyway, it's above or more than the ice. So these will float and the bigger ones will be drowned and we can see the details here inside the bottles here are the details which i didn't want to delete this is not a final resolution of course not a resolution but i mean sampling so here here the bubbles these small bubbles will be totally disappearing if we will activate the denoiser also for these ones we can just work on lighting these because they are a little more appearing than what we want these two we have full control over each form system and in the final version you will receive we increase the number of these particles the inside particles the bubbles now i think the total number was like like 360 370 thousand in its maximum amount but i think we can increase it into 1 million 1 million and half Take in consideration the radio, maybe you have to reduce the radio and reduce the B2B uh, interaction because else it will be like colliding with each other and sometimes exploding. So this is how everything is moving inside the bottles. And I think this is nice, it looks nice. Now the foam here inside, it just, it's going down. Of course we can work on enhancing this I don't want it to be like noisy for longer than 75 it's now noisy for like 100 then it drops I think we can introduce bigger ones here and make sure that we delete everything extra we can delete the extra ones by creating a geometry which is like the outer border of this one extending to here with shell and put it where we can cut all the bubbles. I explained this technique later. Also, we can enhance this because this is so sharp. I forget to add anything to the light. But anyway, this is it. The only thing I think we can add to this here in a nuke is a little depth of field. Let's just see how we can do that in a nuke. This is not a compositing lesson. I don't want to go in depth with this but i want to analyze things and see how we can work it out as much as i can uh, after all i'm not a compositor but i know exactly how things are happening what we can do is that we can create a channel merge because here we separated everything and we rendered all the passes separately so we don't have as example the z depth inside the xr image it's it's a separate sequence which i think is better because it's safe more so let's bring it and you can do that by duplicating this one 
and in this one just in this one I can go to the Z Z depth and I can choose this sequence now I have everything here and if you can see it on the viewer it's exactly as expected all these pumps are the bubbles and that's it this is this looks nice for the B channel I will add this and for the A channel I will add this one and let's just organize things we can press control here to have some corner it's better to have everything organized and renamed and for this one all I need to do is to change a few settings here so for the A channel I will say RGBA red will be just one color and for the B channel I don't need anything and for the output I need the Z depth which should be here that's it and also to make sure that we have a Z depth we can say we need Z defocus and for this one we can add this as an image and the setting for this one is easy so for uh, the channels I will choose all is it depth it's already there so we don't need to change things now we will start changing this after we uh, plug the view this one I just see this so as you can see everything is blurred a little if I press here I can define where I want the, the point the focal point to be I can just bring it here and it's already giving us something see all these points are out of focus here we have a little out of focus and we can increase this thing by by increasing this as example let's see what kind of results we have here we can see this and I think 6 is good I don't want to have a lot of out of focus this is nice so nice and I can see the light here in the background which is extremely good of course we can work on the background change it I usually add some dirt wherever I can sometimes you add some smoke which is like cold smoke and that will add some some really nice um, background but this is it I have this little out of focus and this is totally in focus which is the logo for the client so this is it now let's see the render of course if you want to render something here you can just go and say bright and just connect it to this one and have have your file name it put it wherever you want and choose the type of thing so I, I would say move for movie 25 frame per second and of course you can just say what is the uh, range you need here you can save it wherever you want anyway I will show you the final result and we'll go through the details this is it and we can just run it as you can see we have all the details we want here of course this is a draft and you can add more sampling to have everything controlled we also have a few artifacts here some bubbles I don't know where they are coming from but this is easy to control and else the meshing for this liquid is amazing there is no problem at all we don't have any of the pattern we noticed before earlier here S little here we can just increase the cutting geometry from the liquid eating a little more from the liquid or creating the foam inside the volume which is far a little from the edge of this geometry and that's it everything is exactly like expected I posted one video on Facebook and it's just uh, I captured the screen although it's not high resolution but it shows something so let me just share it this is the video and if I will go here as you can see of course we can add some colors to the back video change whatever we want the background but we see all the details here and if you go down the sliding drops 
it's all there. We didn't need really to create meta mesh for those. Just using the particles was good. These two lines I don't like for the lighting, but in general, I have everything I needed here. Uh, the business side of this project I included at the beginning of this course at the first section. So again, the delivery and the bidding, how to write something, break down the shot, what is the pricing. I'm considering some middle range prices between Europe and the uh, States. And uh, for other parts of the world, this can be cheaper based on how much the general rate in that area i will consider that being able to do this thing this kind of shots using cgi uh, just nice because this for a long period of time it's almost impossible to happen using the liquid system we have or the cgi we have thank you for watching